Hello all my crafty friends. Welcome to the Distressed Princess. Here's the DIYs that I'm working on for today. In the clearance section of Hobby Lobby, I found this frame and I got it for only $5, it was 90% off, and it was missing its glass, but no matter. If you find these frames in Hobby Lobby, pick them up. They have them all the time in the clearance section, but there's so much that you can do with them as you soon will see. I'm going to be painting the backing, so the first thing I needed to do was remove it from the little clamps on the back of the frame. I'm almost out of my Waverly white chalk paint, and I think that I'm going to try um, Rust-Oleum next time. But anyway, this time I'm using my Waverly white chalk paint. I'm painting two coats and drawing with my hair dryer, or if you have a heat gun, dry in between and speed up that drying time with those heat guns and hair dryers, because that's gonna make your life so much easier. Now that we have a nice white background to work with, I'm going to draw shiplap lines. And this is the same way that I do it every time. And I find the center of whatever I'm drawing the lines on. That's where I begin. And then I make a little dot where the center is and draw my first line in the middle. After the first line is drawn, then the second line, I measure it out, and this time I'm going three inches. A lot of times I do two inches, but this is kind of a bigger piece, so I decided to make three inches between my planks, and I just go on and on from there just like that. Now for decoration, I'm using this bucket that I got at the Dollar General store, and I wanted to make one of those wall, like a wall hanging envelope type uh, plant holder. And so I wanted to smush this bucket, and I was kind of having a hard time getting it to smush down right, and I realized I need to remove the bottom of the bucket. So I grabbed my can opener, and it took a few times going around with this can opener, but it did finally pop out. This bucket originally had handles, one on each side, and when I was trying to bend it and smush it into the envelope shape, the handles popped off, which I was gonna remove them anyway, so they weren't hard to come off. Now I should be able to get the shape that I want, but those edges can be sharp, so I put on my oven mitts <laughs> to try to get it all bent down into, maybe it's a wall pocket, that's what I'm trying to say. Not so much an envelope, but a wall pocket shape. I wanted the bottom to be kind of as sealed as possible, so I used a hammer to <laughs> hammer down that bottom. I know it looks like I'm beating the crap out of this little bucket and that it's looking wonky, but it's okay because it's pretty flexible and you can bend, if you mess up and bend it and it looks weird, you can, you can easily fix it. Now, to attach it to the frame, I'm using JB Weld, the one minute um, epoxy. And I'm loving this stuff. It's attaching everything that I need it to attach things to. Like, I don't think there's anything it wouldn't adhere to. So I'm mixing up the JB Weld because it's got two adhesives in that plunger that need to be mixed. And then I'm going to apply it to my bucket and then stick my bucket down to the frame. Now I think you guys should go watch Jamie over at Simple Roots Simple Living because she did a similar thing using tin cans, Trash to Treasure, her last Trash to Treasure video, and she smashed her tin cans 
to make a wall pocket and they are so cute. So definitely go check out Jamie. I'll leave her link in my description. Now the package on JB Weld says that it takes one minute for it to set. I feel like it takes just a little bit longer, maybe like two or three minutes for it to set. So kind of hold it in place and don't let it move around. And if you let it set for two or three minutes, it's good. It takes five to six hours to cure. So like I wouldn't put anything heavy in it for five to six hours, but just for holding, you know, fake plants, you're gonna be super good to go. I wanted my plants to have a little bit of height to them, so I put a paper towel down in the bottom of my little pocket. These plants are a combination of a couple of bushes that I got. One from the Dollar General store, the more frosty looking one is from Dollar General store, and the other one is from Hobby Lobby that I got 50% off. And yeah, they were very inexpensive. The dollars, the Dollar General store one was on sale when I bought it. So I think it was only like $1.50 because I think it's regularly $3 and I got it for $1.50. And then the Hobby Lobby one was originally $7.99, but I got it half off. So yeah, like four bucks. And they are so pretty. And I of course use wire cutters to cut each sprig off of the bush because I like to uh, have them separated more. And to finish it all off, I made a buffalo check bow that the ribbon came from Dollar Tree and hot glued it to the top. The second project today is using this candle, this glass candle jar from Bath and & Body. And by the way, oh my gosh, the smell of this candle was so good. I cleaned it out using just running it under hot water and I used a scraper to peel the labels off. I was able to get it all cleaned out. And now I'm going to spray paint it using just cheap uh, enamel spray paint from I think the Dollar General. It was just the cheap white one and it's the gloss. It went on very well and it's very cold outside right now. So I did this inside my house. I don't recommend that, <laughs> but I did it anyway. Then I got out my Sharpie paint pen in black. I love this thing and I'm going to draw a design. It's just the simplest thing and it's it kind of reminds me maybe of a boho design but I think it's very farmhouse too and I, I just love black and white together. I guess that's sort of the theme today. A lot of black and white in my projects today but so simple you can do this. Just make sort of little disconnected V's and just go all the way around the jar. Isn't that just the cutest, most simple thing to draw on, on something to, to elevate it? So I'm topping this off with a, like a half a ball of greenery that I found at one of my local junk stores. And that was it for this project. Here's one last look at everything all together. If you like these projects, give me a thumbs up. Go down and hit the like button. That would just make my day. It would just make me so happy. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.